Well, good morning, guys. Welcome to Digital Church Life Nuggets number 76. Amen. I, was, I did it last night. It was just too dark on the balcony. So here this Friday morning, uh, live with the ocean. As you can see, the ocean is absolutely beautiful. And uh, it's just a great way to wake up in the morning. Can somebody say amen? So I want to talk to you continuously this morning on the spiritual disciplines of prayer because inquiring minds want to know. You know, we've seen the, the newspaper at the uh, uh, the grocery line, you know, the, the National Enquirer, and they tell you this bogus, you know, fake news, this outrageous things. You know, and it says, you know, the, the motto is, you know, inquiring minds want to know. But, you know, as we walk this thing called life, uh, we all face situations, we all face problems, we all face things that pop up from time to time, and we need to know exactly what to do. Can somebody say amen? When David faced armies, when the nation of Israel faced attacks uh, from different uh, conglomerations of nations that would come against them, uh, like King David and Jehoshaphat and uh, some of the great kings would inquire of the Lord, you know, what shall I do? Shall I go after them? Shall I... Shall I do this? Shall I, you know, over, will I overtake them? And the Bible said they would inquire of the Lord or they would seek his counsel or they would ask him, you know, you know, well, God, what do you think? What do I need to do? Because, you know, I don't know how to face this vast army. You know, it's too big for me. The problem's too big. Uh, the mountain's too high. The valley's too low. Amen. And so they inquired of the Lord, for inquiring minds want to know. Can I get an amen? So the Bible says, uh, the Lord says, Will I let the house of Israel inquire of me for me to do this for them? And the Lord says, Will I let my children, will I let uh, my creation inquire of me? And of course the answer is yes. The Lord wants us to inquire. The Lord wants us to seek. The Lord wants us to ask. The Lord wants us to knock. Can I get an amen? We don't have to walk this thing called life alone. Amen. Because when we receive Christ, he lives in us the hope of glory. And greater is he that's in us. Amen. Than he that's in the world. Can I get an amen? And the Bible says in James, you, you do not have because you do not ask. Ask and it will be given. You seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. For everyone who asks receives, he who seeks runs after, seeks after, inquires for, amen, uh, receive, uh, uh, finds, and him who knocks, the door will be open. Prayer opens up the way. Thanksgiving opens up the way. Prayer opens the door. Communication with God opens the door to bring kingdom to earth, to bring the answer to earth. To bring the encouragement if you're depressed from heaven to earth. To bring healing, amen, if you're sick from heaven to earth. To bring the answer you need, amen, from heaven to earth. And this is the confidence we have in approaching him. 1 John 5, 14, 15. That if we ask anything according to his will, and we pray his word, we pray his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. Can somebody say amen? So if any of us lack wisdom, we may need wisdom in our business, wisdom in our ministry, wisdom, uh, amen, in our calling, wisdom concerning our children. What is wisdom? wisdom? Wisdom is to know what to do, to know how to do it, and then to do it. And the Lord says here in James, if you lack wisdom, Ask me, and I will give generously. I will give liberally. In other words, God says, hey, I'm going to answer you. If you'll ask me, ask me for wisdom, I will give you the answer if you will simply ask. Matter of fact, I'll give without reproach. I'll give without finding fault. You know, if the Lord sends rain on the just and the unjust, if he feeds the birds of the air, clothes the grass of the field, surely he will speak to us. If we come to him with a pure heart, asking him for wisdom, that way we'll know, inquiring of him, inquiring minds want to know, amen, then we will know what to do, 
We'll know how to do it. And then by faith, when we step out and, get, and do this, amen, God will show up and show out. He says in this in Timothy, Timothy said, I want men to always pray everywhere. Amen. With lifting up holy hands. Amen. Without wrath or doubting or anger or disputing. Amen. Jesus said, men ought to always pray and not to lose heart. My friends, don't lose heart today. But inquire of the Lord. For inquiring minds want to know. And inquiring minds, amen, always get the wisdom, the insight, the understanding, the direction. Amen. That they need because God is good. Say God is good. And so the Bible said the eyes of the Lord uh, roam throughout the earth seeking uh, to strengthen the hearts of those who are fully committed to him. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cry. You know the Lord's attentive to you this morning. His ear is out. He's going, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Katie Bug's praying. Uh-oh. Tiffany's praying. Uh-oh, Rhonda's praying. Uh-oh, there's Lynn Lozano, that crazy girl praying again. She's inquiring of me. And the Lord says, Jesus, t tell the Holy Spirit to tell her what to do. Hey, let, let her know I'm coming. Let her know I'm going to move the mountain. Let her know her daughter Nicole is going to be all right, amen, when she graduates from Teen Child. Let her know I'm going to show up because she's inquired of me. She has an inquiring mind. Amen. And I'm going to answer her. And the Lord says he'll hear and deliver. My goodness. Out of all their troubles. My friends, who can be our foe when God is on our side? Amen. And so he says, you'll ask in my name. And if you ask me in my name because you love me. Amen. He says, ask and you will receive. And your joy, your joy will be complete, will be full, will be overflowing. I'm telling you, my friends, we have a great big God. And believe me, one day we're going to say, what a little bitty devil. Amen. God is on our side. Amen. And he's seeking those who will worship not only in spirit and truth, but he's seeking those who will inquire of him. And he says, they will receive. Because I'll give generously. I'll give liberally without finding fault. Amen. And if you'll just receive what he says, amen. Receive the insight. Receive the understanding. Receive the direction. Kingdom will come from heaven into earth, into your situation. And God's will will be done. And he will glorify his name in your life. And you will be blessed. Can I get and amen hallelujah so we're live at the beach amen there's actually somebody in the ocean that man it's like feels like it's 80 degrees this morning and it's beautiful down here hallelujah but this is uh thursday night's video on friday morning glory to god it's exciting to be here i think i'll sit here and strum my ukulele a little bit we're going to go check out pear park we're down in panama city and uh i'll we'll be doing another video in the morning who knows what will happen right but uh, it's incredible, amen, just to be talking to you live in Panama City. Now, I want to make something clear. My website, daningram.org, I want you to share that. For, with Gary and Robbie's help, this is my home base. You can go listen to my music free. Just click on the arrow. You don't have to download it if you want to. I've made it available to you. I'm just about done with taking back the sound. I'm doing four song EPs. I just re-released a, a Rockin' Waves EP. If you want to buy it, you can get all four songs for $3.99, or you can listen to it free there, or go to YouTube. Click on the YouTube button. You can read the book there in English or Spanish. Amen. You can uh, click on the Life Nuggets page. You can watch every Life Nugget up to number 75. It takes you right to my YouTube channel, Dan Ingram Ministries, Life Nuggets. You can click on the little... Um, icon there for WordPress and I'm trying to write something a little short message uh, I'm start, I've started to do that now so everything that's my home base that's that's digital church that's just for you amen so if you want to find out what's going on if you need a short word you need to look at a nugget 
you know what I like to do me and Sherry if we have these little devotionals prophetic devotionals and stuff that we've carried with us over the years I'll just pray and say Lord what number do you want me to read today well do that to life nuggets he says 43 go look at 43 and it'll be a message just for you so anyway that's what I'm doing amen hallelujah I want you to be a part of it pray for me we're praying for you amen I'm always open if you need a prayer request you can ask to message me on Facebook Go to danningram.org on the contact. Say, hey, pray for me, Danny. Amen. We'll be glad to do that. Can somebody say amen? So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And remember, inquiring minds want to know. And that word know is an intimate term. And the Lord says, I will show up. I will show you. I will bring you the wisdom, for I will give you generously, and I will give you liberally. Can somebody say amen? So receive it now and walk in a walk in spirit, walk in prayer. Amen. And the kingdom will come from heaven to earth in your life. Be blessed. I'm out. Happy Friday. T-G-I-F. God bless you.